All right, guys, tonight we're going to make some meatloaf. Um, I was at the store. I couldn't believe there was no ground beef. This is the only kind of meat, beef I found that was ground beef. They had no organic. They had no grass-fed. There was only two of these big packages. So it's about three pounds for both for this whole package. I saw, I think if I cut it in half, it'd be about an, a pound and a half of ground beef. I was just going to do a pound of ground beef, but I could do a little bit more. So yeah, I found this recipe um, last year when I first moved in. So I, this is my first recipe, homemade recipe I made when I first moved in here like a year ago. So I found this recipe on YouTube. It's very easy. It's very moist. It's so good. So this is a YouTube recipe. I'll leave the link in the description down below if you want to check it out. But first I'm going to go ahead and um, put take half of this beef and just put it in a bowl and start mixing some stuff together. All right, we're going to crack an egg first in a bowl. All right, guys, this recipe is actually for two, using for two pounds of beef. So I'm only going to use one and a half pounds of beef. So this recipe include, also is including a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, now I need three tablespoons of ketchup. So now we're going to add one onion and one half green bell pepper. About two tablespoons of garlic. And one third cup of breadcrumbs. And just stir until everything's combined. Just wanted to stir it up. We're adding a sprinkle of salt. Just a sprinkle. And just for the fun of it, I'm gonna add this 21 seasoning from Trader Joe's. I know it's not like, this is 21 seasoning. I know it's done in the recipe, but I'll add a little bit. Give it another stir, stir it really well. And now you're gonna mix the beef. And you're gonna to have to get your hands in here and just mix everything together until everything is really good and mixed. All right, after everything's already mixed, you're gonna just put it in a loaf pan. It smells amazing, guys, so excited. I haven't made meatloaf in so long. All right, there it is. We're going to bake it for 325 degrees, about an hour, one hour. So in the meantime, I'm going to just bake a little baked potato. So I have a special way to make it. I'm going to just put a little olive oil and kind of just rub it around like this, poke a few holes in it, sprinkle some salt, just a little bit, and then just put it in the oven like that. All right, so for the glaze, we are going to put one fourth cup of ketchup, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Whoa, that's way more than that. Okay, that's it. All right, the recipe does call for one tablespoon of honey, but I can't find my honey, so I'm going to use brown sugar instead. All right, then you just stir it, you mix it really well, and then you're going to pour this glaze on top of the meatloaf and last 15, 20 minutes. All right, I just took off the meatloaf out of the oven. Looks really good. We have some broccoli and we have a baked potato. So dinner coming soon, guys. So we got the meatloaf, the broccoli, and a baked potato. Yes. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have meatloaf, broccoli, baked potato. I'm super excited for this meal, guys. I haven't had meatloaf in so long, maybe a year. I'm not sure, it's been a while, guys. And guys, it is so freaking hot today. I'm, I have the air conditioning on. So I'm still hoping you can hear me. I'm, I'm using a new mic, so hopefully it will pick up some good eating sounds. I haven't made meatloaf in so long. Now, different people like to do, you know, different meatloafs. Some people make it with gravy, mashed potatoes. How I usually do it is I just make it with ketchup. You usually bake potato and a vegetable on the side, but I'm excited to try this meatloaf. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. That is really good. Very moist. It's 
So good, oh my God. Mm. So I was just gonna use like one pound of beef, but I just had to use one and a half pounds of beef. So. I'm gonna put some butter on my baked potato. So I already put some butter on the broccoli. But yeah, guys, I recommend this recipe. Um, it's on YouTube, so I'll I'll give you the link in the description if you want to check it out. Mm. Well, put some salt and pepper on the broccoli and baked potato. Maybe some. I'll put the pepper also on the meat roll. The baked potato is really moist. I have like a special way how I make my baked potatoes. First, what I so first what I do is I oil the baked potato a little bit, then I add a couple of with a fork punctures, and then add some salt to it, and then bake it, no foil, just bake it in the oven for like an hour. It's, that's, it's really moist that way, especially with the oil. It's really good. I also got a comment in one of my videos today. Why don't I steam broccoli? I don't have a steamer, that's why. Otherwise, I would. Well, maybe I should get a steamer. I really want to get an air fryer, though. I love meatloaf. It's so good. I'm curious how you guys like your meatloaf. Do you like it with the gravy, mashed potato? Do you like it with ketchup? So I grew up eating meatloaf like this. That's why I like it like this. I think with the gravy and the mashed potatoes, it's kind of rich, you know? It's like a really happy meal. All right, guys. So anyways, I want to talk a little bit about TikTok. You guys all know what TikTok is. I don't know much about it either, but <laughs> basically it's an app. It's really popular actually. I don't know why it's like really popular right now. And you can upload some pictures and videos, funny videos, I guess, I don't know. So I was watching a McBoner named Kenneth McBong. He was talking about how they become famous or really popular or get a lot of followers on TikTok. And what he said was really realistic. He said just post every day a video or a picture, but maybe you post more than once a day, a couple of times a day. That's how you get really popular and get a lot of followers on TikTok. So yeah, um, so I'm on TikTok. Make sure to add me. I'm gonna try to upload pictures and videos at least once a day, maybe more. Um, my TikTok name is Eat with Karen. I was on New Care Bird that was already taken, so I decided to do Eat with Karen. So, because Ken Smoke wants to talk about this video and how to become more popular on TikTok, I'm going to leave his TikTok name in the description down below. You can check him out. All right, so there's another YouTuber I collab with a few times. I think his channel name is called Eddie's Take on Life, and he's um, been on there. He's been like advertising a lot on Instagram, and he's been like making videos. I think putting videos out every day, I think, and they're actually really funny. He has music in the background. I think he does some dancing or, I don't know, he's really funny. So I'm gonna leave his link in the description. You can check him out as well, because I think he's kind of funny on the videos. <laughs> So since most of the videos I do are food related, I'm going to do some food related videos and pics. So yeah, I recommend TikTok. 
I think it's popular for the younger people, but I'm not really sure. I don't know a lot about TikTok, but it's fine. I have so much meatloaf left over tomorrow. I'm just gonna boil some broccoli, make another meatloaf dinner. I'm also gonna bake a potato. I like when the potatoes are just like really fresh out of the oven. It tastes so good. Man, I could have made another big potato in the oven, but I was like, I don't want to, I think I need some more fresher if it was out of the oven and then eat it. It's been a while since I had a fresh baked potato out of the oven. <laughs> you can probably tell I like broccoli a lot. I use that a lot <laughs> in a vegetable when I eat. I like broccoli. Broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, three vegetables I like a lot. I just like a lot of ketchup on my meatloaf. Ketchup. Like a lot of ketchup, actually. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Are you having a great day? Today is Tuesday. Yesterday, I was so freaking tired. because my birth I was off from Walmart actually all oh my job Friday Saturday and Sunday I took off but well, the first day of my birthday I was a little bit sick I think I just had too much bad foods so that happens sometimes to me this is good with like onions and bell peppers I like it this is really good with a wooden spoon but all right so somebody wanted me to give them a shout out their name is Axel Amen. I'll probably write it down on the bottom of the screen I'm not sure if I pronounced it right but he says hey could I have a shout out I'm a big fan of so there's your shout out I'm glad you're a big fan thank you for watching my videos appreciate that Tomorrow night, I'm planning to make another. I'm planning to like heat this up with make some fresh broccoli, make a fresh baked potato. But I don't know if I should make a meatloaf sandwich. Do you guys like that? Is it good? I mean, what do you put on the meatloaf sandwich? Do you just put nothing? Like, do you put ketchup? Do you put like mayonnaise? Like, what do you put on that? I'm the type of person that doesn't like to eat like the same thing for like three or four days straight. So I might have this for one or two more nights. And then I'm probably just gonna like freeze it. I think meat looks good freezable. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this meatloaf video. I've been, I got a lot of requests to do meatloaf video and I love meatloaf. So I'm really glad I did this today. 
and let me know in the comments below what kind of meatloaf do you like do you like the ketchup one like i had today or do you like it more like mashed potatoes with gravy do you like the gravy top? let me know all right guys thanks for watching hope you have a great day and see you in the next video peace